this video shows how to view the um, Linux SC SI devices information. Now, SCSI is uh, the name is the abbreviation for Small Computer System Interface, and that is a set of standards for, for example, physically connecting and transferring data between computers and uh, peripheral devices. So, and um, it is a standard which helps in defining commands, um, protocols, optical and logical interfaces. So that is something that is very, very important, especially if you have a Linux computer. So, and then um, SCSI is, in most cases, it is used for hard disk drives and tape drives. And as well, but it, there are some times that you might, you can connect a wide range of other devices as well, such as, for example, um, CD drives, scanners, and many other um, uh, storage devices. And uh, but at the same time, not all devices or not all controllers can handle all the devices. So in this case, if you want to know the SCSI information, the, the, uh, the information of the SCSI devices you have on your system, there are some commands that you can make use of. The main command is going to be the list command with the SCSI. So, for example, in my own system, I can have this. So, to get the information, that is the list command combined with the SCSI. So, with this command, I can get the information. So, pressing enter, in this case, the hard disk that I am making use of in my system is this, the OEMU. That is the hard disk I am making use of in my Linux system. Then if I want to see the generic device node behind the read array that I am using, I am going to be making use of the, um, the D switch. So in this, it's, so with the D switch, so this gives me the information. Like in this particular case, that is what I have here. Then. If I want to see the long format of this same information, it is going to be with the L switch. So with the SCSI, with the L switch. So with this, I am having this in the long format, which gives me additional information about the, um, the SCSI devices I have on my system, the level, the type, and many other things, the timeout, which is 30 seconds. So now, what if I want to... For example, um, if I want to use or install the, L, the SASI memory command, especially if, you want, if I want to get additional information about the SASI devices I have on my system, that means with the cat command, I can view the information in the file, in the SASI file, which is going to be with the proc, with the SASI, which is where my the information of the SCSI devices on my system is located. So with this, it gives me have more information about installation, about the use of the system, which I have on my Linux system. So those are the commands that you need if you want to find out the various details of the Linux SCSI devices you have. 